in a world where women's sports is being transformed. The Daily Wire calls foul. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. Absolutely uh, thankful that you've uh, chosen to spend this brief amount of time with here with me here on Monday. Quick reminder, I do my live show over on Rumble, which will be live at noon today. Uh, I don't often get like too heavily political, uh, but this is definitely an interesting story, and it's one that I feel like, as somebody who says words on the internet, I need to continue to um, you know, cover this kind of thing. So uh, Daily Wire put out their movie Lady Ballers, which isn't, you know, essentially not, uh, <laughs> that's, like the, that's like the backdrop to this story. Um, one of the actors in this movie and, uh, you know, a well-known person uh, was not, I don't know if rated is the right word. Uh, the FBI arrested him at the premiere. Uh, for absolute garbage reasons. Um, and so I want to extend my support for him now and uh, cover the story. So, um, you know, by the way, it's now December 4th. You only have about 10 more days to get your coffee brand coffee gift box order in. Promo code best gift will save you 10%. We have two pre made boxes for uh, quick and easy grabbing, but also you can customize your gift box and put together the perfect gift full of different coffees, teas, cocos, premium snacks, peppermint bark, all this kind of stuff. Get a couple of them, knock out half of your Christmas list in one purchase. I assure you the customizable thing will make it feel unique. You don't even have to worry about wrapping it. It comes ready to go, stick a bow on it, and you're done. Now, Lady Ballers, of course, launched and became the biggest launch in Daily Wire history. Uh, according to Jeremy Boring, and now they put a lot of money behind it. And uh, I, I think that the the film, I've seen the film now, it uh, it encapsulates kind of like that early 2000s goofball Adam Sandler humor. Um, I would qualify it as, you know, popcorn film. You know, much like maybe, uh, you know, just any goofball comedy that you might see playing during the day back in the heydays of Comedy Central when they played comedy. Uh, absolutely nothing wrong at all with this film. In fact, it received a 97% on Rotten Tomatoes from the fans, while critics across the uh, internet refused to review it, which I'm going to talk about a little bit more in a different video today. Obviously, huge success for Daily Wire. Now, one of the stars of that movie is a man by the name of Siaka Masakwai. I, I hope I'm saying that right. Siaka Masakwai? Um, he is in, um, this movie and, uh, after the premiere, the FBI arrested him. Absolute garbage. The FBI waited for this man to get out of the Lady Ballers premiere where they knew he would be promoting this film and they arrested him for misdemeanors from years ago. Say Sayaka Masakwai, Red State columnist, LA County GOP official, arrested at the airport on ridiculous J6 misdemeanors. As a United States citizen, I know I'm, I know I have viewers all over the world. Um this feels I think unless you're one of my viewers in like North Korea or Russia, uh, this feels off, obviously. I've always said of these people on that day that if people legitimately broke the law, people trespassed, people broke um, you know, pro damaged property, that I am 100% fine with them getting charges for it. Even though I know if they were storming the capital for Palestine, they would not be charged. I don't even have to speculate that. We know that. Okay, We've seen it already this year. Okay, these people who by and large were there to peacefully protest. And I, I, I admit, you know, some people got out of hand. And again, I admit 
if you're breaking down doors, you're doing this kind of stuff, that you should receive, I'm 100% fine if the United States government charged them with the absolute maximum that that crime allowed. But that is not what the United States government has been doing. They have been putting these people in prison, some of them without charges, one of them many months. One of the individuals that was facing charges on that day ended his own life before he got his fair day in trial because these people aren't getting fair trials. This is 100% politically motivated. Uh, I will say this of any potential presidential candidate uh, running against Joe Biden, uh, I want to hear what uh, I want to hear that they'll be pardoning these people again. If they committed like, you know, vandalism or something like that, I'm fine with them getting charged. With, that's all we want. Charge both sides like that. Right. L.A. actor Sayaka Masakwai was arrested Thursday night at the L.A. airport on four misdemeanors. This is what the FBI is spending their time on, by the way. Can't stop people nonstop swatting. You got every you know popular streamer on earth, every content creator who live streams getting swatted nonstop, having their lives put at risk. They can't solve that. But this guy who uh, you know uh, I don't know, trespassed uh, two years ago, he is the FBI's top priority. They are using. It is my opinion. Hey, let me know in the comment section down below, and if you agree, leave a like on the video. And uh, by the way, if you're just seeing this video for the first time, I would greatly appreciate it if you subscribe or follow down below. These people are being prosecuted as proxies against Donald Trump. That's what I believe. I believe that they are paying the price for Trump. And that's why I strongly feel that Trump should be absolutely more vocal about saying he's going to pardon these people. The problem is not a lot of people know this. Not a lot of people are putting these pieces of the puzzle together. Right? But these people are going to prison to punish Donald Trump. And our Federal Bureau of Investigation, our Department of Justice, has been weaponized to do so. Massaquai and his pregnant wife were returning from Nashville where they attended the premiere of Daily Wire's new film, Lady Ballers. Massaquai, who ran for California State Assembly in 2022, currently serves as the first vice chair of the Republican Party of L.A. County. He's also a red state columnist. Although the charges trespassing, parading, and disorderly conduct, these are nothing charges okay if he was a democrat in black in a democrat city he wouldn't even have been charged with them he certainly wouldn't have been arrested for them he certainly wouldn't have had the fbi deployed although the chargers are misdemeanors fbi agents took him to jail where he was kept overnight until being released on a one thousand dollar uh bond at the end of the day on friday why to punish Donald Trump to make Donald Trump voters afraid. Disagree with me? I'd like to hear you give me a more reasonable reason. I would really love to hear your reason. You see here he says, witness why I was raided two years ago and recently arrested and charged November 30th, three years later. Were they punishing him for watching the new Daily Wire Lady Ballers movie? Why not arrest him during the 2021 raid? He was at the threshold of the door for maybe a minute and even helped the police direct the flow of foot traffic out the door. What is the crime? And when this is why your government here in the United States, our government in the United States, didn't want this footage released. Because what we would see and what we have seen is the overwhelming majority of these people who have been sold to us as, um, you know, absolutely out of control maniacs were anything but. Is this retaliation for the class action civil lawsuit by Larry uh, Clayman with uh, Sayaka Masakwai uh, for his participation in a hilarious Babylon, video, Babylon B video mocking Joe Biden? So he's a, he's a conservative actor, a Republican actor, a Trump supporter, okay? And the FBI is waiting for him at the airport for misdemeanors from three years ago. They've had three years to, by the way, you don't get arrested typically for misdemeanors. It's a ticket. You get a ticket, 
You go. No, but they held him overnight in, in jail because of it, it is sending a message to Trump voters. Prove me wrong. Prove to me that the FBI had something. They had literally nothing as important as this. You know, not the guy who posted to Instagram saying he was going to go to the Cybertruck event and do something terrible. That wasn't something they had to deal with, right? The invasion on the southern border, all these people on pills. No, no, this guy had to have the FBI separate him from his pregnant wife after attending, uh, attending a Daily Wire movie. You see Jeremy Boring, right? Uh, he is a good man and a huge talent. The FBI arresting him at the airport three years after the event and after raiding his house and not charging him already and then only charging him with misdemeanors is one of the most absurd things I've ever heard. I 1,000% agree. I, I, I don't, you know, I get that I'm just following orders, guys, but imagine you're some FBI agent and this is what you have to do. You have to go harass this guy, arrest him you know, while his, with his pregnant wife. So I will let people know I normally don't do this um, because, you know, you promote one, give, send, go, or go fund me, and then, you know, you're doing them. That's all your channel becomes. But he needs a legal defense fund, and it looks like he's getting a lot of support already, $57,000. By the way, court isn't cheap. You know, it cost me over $50,000 to defend myself in a slam dunk case. On Thursday night, November 30th, him and his pregnant wife, Charlotte, were headed home on a flight after returning from the Daily Wire's Lady Ballers movie premiere in Nashville. Upon their arrival, he was separated from his wife and abruptly arrested by the FBI. At the time, Charlotte was told the charges had to do with J6. However, she was not presented with any arrest warrant. He was taken to Monterey Park Jail, where he had to stay overnight and was told that he was being charged for four misdemeanors pertaining to his presence outside the building. In Washington, D.C. and J6. Sayak and his family are God-fearing citizens. They have served their community through various avenues and he is currently the LA GOP vice chairman. His wife has been a tremendous support to him and is now expecting their first child in March. Since the FBI raided his home nearly three years ago, they have feared that this day might come in which the government would charge him for something he didn't do. He has been scrutinized at airports for several years but has never been charged for anything. But the FBI had to make a big show about this because, you know, lady ballers and they, they get to, to they get all the conservative eyes are on this. So the FBI inserts themselves into it to remind you who they work for. And that's the Democratic Party. It's absolutely disgusting. It's it's a sham. It's treasonous. Uh, and the and the and the and the fact that every conservative in Congress and in the Senate um, is too afraid to stand up for these United States citizens is pathetic and cowardly. I, uh, I, I, I definitely send, um, you know, my thoughts, uh, and positive vibes to him and his wife. And, um, and, and this is, this is a, this is a travesty. This, this miscarriage of justice is disgusting, uh, from the top down. Um, but, uh, yeah, let maybe share this video out. A lot of people need to see just how, they're treating American citizens here. Um, it, it's, it's just outrageous. I hope you were informed by this video. If you were, please do leave a like on it. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe or follow down below. And we'll talk to you again real soon.